All right, so I've been waiting for this day for a while now. I've really wanted to do this. I wanted to make a video similar to the one I made for Shohei Otani and the video I made for Babe Ruth. Uh, I did a gameplay video for each one of those players because those are the players that most people want to see in MLB The Show 18, particularly right now. Uh, but today, something came out for MLB The Show 18 that is going to be honestly just as fun, I think. So I did make a video about this, it is on my channel, it's probably actually the last video I uploaded, I'll leave a link to it up in the top right, it should be popping up right now. Uh, but the OSFM 18 rosters came out, and basically what these rosters are, are just a very very realistic roster, it has all the major prospects, all the minor league rosters, made in the game, so we can play with pretty much anybody we want, and they are all real players. So. Uh, yeah, it's pretty exciting that we get to play as some of these guys. But today what we are going to focus on is a player who is uh, getting a lot of hype, particularly because of his family and his bloodline. If you guys don't know who I'm talking about by now, and you haven't read the title of the video, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., we can actually play as him in MLB The Show 18. So go ahead and watch that video if you guys want to learn how to download those rosters. But for now, we are just going to focus on the actual player who has the highlight for this video. So let's go ahead and find Vladimir Guerrero Jr. in the game. So obviously what you need to do is you need to go ahead and find the Toronto Blue Jays. And then you need to go over to third baseman and boom, here he is guys, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. in MLB The Show 18. So let's take a look at him a little bit more in depth. So as you can see right now, he is in single A ball. He's 19 years old. I'm not sure how old in real life he is. The max age you can go to in MLB The Show 18 is 18, or I'm sorry, the minimum age. Uh, so, you know, some of these guys are like 16, 17, but you can't get them that way. So you have to keep them at like 18. So game has him at 19. That might be right. It might be wrong. I'm not totally sure, but he's a 69 overall with a potential. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this player card. So here he is, 55-65 contact, 59-65. 67 power with 75 vision really good vision 64 discipline 52 clutch 27 bunt 17 drag bunt 80 durability 43 fielding with 50 arm strength 50 or 40 arm accuracy and 39 reaction with 60 speed so obviously his stats aren't going to be amazing but he's not a major league player yet he has a lot of capability to be a major league player and he's probably going to be playing in the big leagues within the next couple years if not maybe maybe by the end of this year I don't think so but maybe by next year we'll see how it goes but Vladimir Guerrero Jr. this is what he's looking like according to the OSFM 18 rosters so now let's go ahead and take a look at what he actually looks like up close so let's take a look at his head here is what he's gonna look like guys it looks pretty good you know he looks pretty good. You know, they got the nice hairstyle on him, the dreads now. Uh, it actually looks a lot more like him than they had it in the past because, um, you know, some of the hairstyles this year have been changed and they're a lot better looking. So you can see what he looks like. They changed the head scale. They've really gone in depth and in detail on what his face looks like and maybe what some of his equipment looks like and all that type of stuff. You can see he has number 27 on his back. And uh, overall, he looks uh, pretty good in the game. Now, if you take a look at his batting stance, his batting stance that they that they uh, came with uh, it didn't look exactly like him so I did play around with it with the uh, batting stance creator for MLB the show 18 which is one of the new features of the game and uh, I think I got it pretty good you know I moved his hands back a little I put it more I give it a little bit more bat wiggle uh, I worked with his stride a little bit so I think this is a pretty good representation of Vladimir Guerrero jr. this is what he's looking like and uh, when you take a look at his um, his stride He's going to look pretty good. You know, he's going to be a big time power hitter. So, uh, yeah, he looks really good in the game. And uh, I'm definitely excited to use him for a little bit of gameplay in this episode. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and jump into a Blue Jays franchise. We're going to go ahead and call up Vladimir Guerrero to the Major League roster. And then we're going to use him in a couple games. We're going to do a player lock. And we're going to see how he does for us. So uh, let's find out how Vladimir Guerrero Jr. does for the Blue Jays. All right, guys. So I got Vladimir Guerrero up on the Major League roster. And I got him on the lineup. So he is going to be a starting third baseman for me in this video. What we're going to do is we're going to play just a couple games in the franchise with the player lock feature. So we can just work worry about his own opportunities so let's get into it this should be fun man opening day in Toronto let's go Vladimir Guerrero jr. let's see how he does right here all right coming up for our first uh, hitting opportunity against Luis Severino we got nobody on with nobody out Yankees already got a one nothing lead 
It's gonna be a low change up to start it off. All right, good take, good take. I love seeing Guerrero with that number 27 on his back. Like, I'm a firm believer that Vladimir Guerrero is an angel. I'm just gonna say it. But seeing that on the Blue Jays uniform is as that, come on, that's pretty sweet right there. That's pretty dope. But all right, we got a 1 1 account from Severino right here. Um, oh, that's down the middle, and it is going to be a line drive out over there to center field. We hit that ball hard. It just stayed up for that uh, center fielder out there. All right, well, see what we can do in the next opportunity. What is it going to be? Ooh, we're getting a fielding opportunity. Okay, one guy out with nobody on base, so we got to make this throw over to first base. The pitch from Stroman is in there. Oh, oh there was no way I was getting that. Even if I would have dived. Or dove. I don't think I was getting that. But at least he only went for a single. It's not too bad. Vladimir Guerrero, he's doing, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is doing what he can. It's okay. Now we got our next opportunity. The Yankees are up four to nothing. I mean, the Yankees with Judge and Stanton and Sanchez. I mean, they're gonna they're gonna score some runs. So it's no surprise that the Yankees might have a little bit of a lead on us. So let's see what we can do with Vladdy right here. Put one in the right center field gap, or mimic that home run he hit the other day before the season started. That was a Dude, if you guys haven't seen that clip of uh, Vladdy Jr. hitting that home run in Montreal, like, that was sick, dude. That was awesome. That walk-off, that was amazing. All right, fought that pitch off. Down to a 1-2 strike or 1-2 count right now. Hopefully, we can uh, keep fighting right here and get a little bit of a base hit or something like that. Good take on that slider. Nice job. Don't let that Severino filthy stuff get you, Vlad. Come on, man. Fastball over the middle of the plate, maybe, on a two-strike count. I don't know. Oh, dude, that was way too close to take, but we might have got a little bit lucky right there. Come on, Vladdy. Come on, buddy. Do it for your dad. By the way, Vladimir Guerrero is my favorite player of all time. I'm an Angels fan. When I... Oh, it's his first hit. His first Major League hit is down the line. And he should have enough speed to get in on that second base. The throw is offline. And Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is getting a double as his first Major League hit here in the uh, MLB The Show 18 usage of him. All right, let's uh, see if we can score now. I forget what his speed is. I think his speed was like 60 or something. So let's see if we can score. Maybe a base hit up the middle or a base hit to the right side or something like that. That'd be, uh, that'd be pretty sweet. But let's see what Randall Gritchick can do. Oh, oh. Oh, was that Gritchick or am I tripping? Am I, I forget who that was. Oh, it was Gritchick. All right. Well, we got to third base. That's pretty good right there. Now, I think Granderson is up with one guy out. I'm just 90 feet away, Curtis. A little ground ball up the middle gets me home right here. Come on, baby. What we got? Boom. Ground ball to the right side. Perfect. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is going to score on this. He gets a hit, comes around to score. Not a bad debut so far for Vladdy Jr. All right, next at bat, one for two with a double in the fourth inning, hitting 500 so far. They even got these rosters down to, like, the equipment that they have and the accessories and all that stuff. So this, that's pretty cool. But here we go. See if we get a first pitch strike. What might swing? Oh, it's another hit. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is already making an impact here in Toronto in his first game, taking a big lead at first base there. Hell yeah, dude. Let's go, Vladdy. I love it. Two balls, two strikes to Pilar. And it's a base hit over the right side. All right, we're going to test that arm. We're going to test that arm from Judge. Are we going to get in there? It's a good throw from Judge, but we beat it. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. scoring two runs in his first game in his debut. Correction, by the way, that was Aledmus Diaz who hit that ball. I thought it was Pilar, but it was actually Diaz. But anyway, yo, why am I playing bunt defense on Giancarlo Stan? What is... <laughs> Why would no 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 come on you can't just do this you can't just have Giancarlo Stanton bunt with two guys on <laughs> That's not only the show for you man. That's the show runners on the corners here in the bottom of the seventh with two down Oh, that is a hanging pitch that is gonna get down. That's not gonna get caught Vladimir Guerrero Oh, it's gonna be off the wall Vladdy jr. Might get three out of this he might get a bases clearing triple It's gonna be a close play here at third. It's gonna be a close play and he gets in there Oh my goodness, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is on fire right now, boys. What is going on right now? Three hits in his Major League debut. Boom, dude. Dude, he has some power on that swing, too. That was pretty nice. Dude, there is no way that this opportunity is literally presenting itself right now. I have the chance to walk off this game with Vlad Jr. There's no way I hit a home run off Chapman right now. If I hit a home run off Chapman right now, I'm going to lose my mind. He already got a fastball in there inside for the first strike. 
Gotta keep an eye on that slider. If he hangs a slider somehow, that's what we gotta be looking for. That fastball is quick. Oh, good take, good take. All right, that changeup almost made me bite. I checked my swing, so we're good there. But man, this is a crazy opportunity. If you, it, dude, if I hit a home run right here, you guys have gotta hit a like. You guys have gotta drop a like on the video. Come on. Oh no, I got the slider I was looking for too. Oh, all right, let's see what we can do in extras. Uh, hey, well, somebody walked it off. It wasn't Vladdy, but who uh, who walked it off? I don't know what happened, but are we the player of the game? Vlad Jr. is the player of the game? Okay, let's get it. Two, or uh, three for five with two runs scored, two RBIs, OPS of 1,800. We won in the 10th inning. Aaron Judge went four for five with two doubles and two RBIs. Stanton bunted, so he didn't do anything. But looks like Batances actually gave up the winning run. Uh, man, that was fun. All right, so I was going to play two games, but I think one game should be enough. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., look at him, just a player of the game, sitting there on the homepage of the franchise mode in MLB The Show 18. That's pretty sweet. So, guys, remember, if you want to know how to play with Vladimir Guerrero Jr., go watch the video I talked about earlier where I showed you how to download these rosters. Uh, it's really fun. There's a lot of other players I could play with. I, I could play with Tim Tebow. I could play with Acuna from the, the, the Braves. So, let me know down in the comments any other players you guys might want to see a little bit of a gameplay with. Um, um, but for now, uh, this was the player I was most excited to use in this OSFM18 uh, roster update. But yeah, guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know down in the comments, like I said, any other players you'd like to see. Drop a thumbs up on it if you did enjoy it. Subscribe to the channel to keep up with all the new MLB The Show 18 videos that I am pumping out to the channel. Uh, yeah, guys, this was fun. Vladdy Jr., he may be here sooner than we think. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Peace.